Good evening. I'm squeaking to you tonight, once again, as the chairman for the Loyal Society for the Prevention of Piss Renunciation. <laughs> it's easy to piss renunciate your worms. Er, words. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten mispronounced words. You say either, and I say either. You say neither, and I say neither. Either, either, neither, neither. Let's call the whole thing off. For this list, we've chosen words that are frequently said wrong or where the proper pronunciation has been lost in translation. A bruja is a witch and a gargoyle is a gargoyle. She means gargoyle. That's what I said. Better start taking notes. Number 10, bruschetta. Common mispronunciation, bruschetta. Correct pronunciation, bruschetta. I hate to go off menu, but can we have some bruschette with fresh mozzarella? Grazie. We're guessing Italian waiters and waitresses worldwide are tired of hearing English speakers adding a sh to what should be a sk sound in this word, commonly calling it bruschetta. It's a, an Italian authentic bruschetta recipe, and correct me if I'm wrong with my pronunciation, I'm pretty sure it's a bruschetta and not bruschetta. Referring to a popular antipasto dish comprised of garlic rubbed bread covered with tomatoes and olive oil, bruschetta is a staple at Italian restaurants everywhere. Unfortunately, this starter has been ordered incorrectly for so long and rolls so well off the tongue that it may forever be butchered in English. Just rub on top and remove the skin. We do the combinations tomato, little vegetable, and a little bruschetta. But if you want to impress your waitstaff or your Italian relatives, repeat after me. Bruschetta. <laughs> Number 9. Mischievous. Common mispronunciation, mischievous. Correct pronunciation, mischievous. M, M I? Yes. <laughs> yes, we go. S? Yes. Oh, it's, it's tricky to Was that an O? No, 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 no. Maybe some mischievous imp added an extra I to the pronunciation of this word at some point in history as a prank to see how far it got. And frankly, it got pretty far. Many people pronounce this word mischievous instead of mischievous, and somehow that adds extra emphasis to its meaning. M I S C E. Some theories suggest it's because of more popular words like previous and a general lack of words ending in V O U S that we feel the need to add the extra sound. The Oxford English Dictionary believes this word has been mispronounced since the 1500s, so we'll give you a pass for getting this one wrong. Even though in previous relationships, Number 8. Foliage. Common mispronunciation, foliage. Correct pronunciation, foliage. Just look at all this beautiful foliage. It's not foliage, Mom. It's foliage. Foliage. It means the leaves of trees or plants, and it's not a word you'd think would give people problems. But in what is a classic case of metathesis, where the sounds or syllables of a word are rearranged, the position of the L and the I are often swapped to produce a vastly different sounding word. We now have foliage, not foliage, and although we know what you mean, that's not the proper way of saying the word. It's probably not a term you'll be using too often, but it's worth keeping in mind the correct pronunciation for your next garden party. That's what I said, foliage. It doesn't take a nuclear scientist to pronounce foliage. Number seven, February. Common mispronunciation, February or February. Correct pronunciation, February. Uh, February. 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 A word that is used so much and said incorrectly so often that the correct pronunciation doesn't even sound right. Who knew a simple calendar month could be so tricky? Where's that old friend gone? Lost in February song. Simply saying February or February rolls off the tongue far better than the tricky February. So difficult is the correct pronunciation, in fact, that Britons voted it the 12th most mispronounced word, ahead of words that are hardly ever used, like onomatopoeia. Yeah. 
However, because February is so common, it's now widely accepted as correct. Shall we just do the month of favor and call it Febtember or Febtober? Months that start with Feb for 800. This is the only month that starts with Feb. <laughs> Mr. Connery, Febtober. Number six, nuclear. Common mispronunciation, nuclear. Correct pronunciation, nuclear. Nuclear. It's pronounced nuclear. A word so commonly mispronounced that several dictionaries have addressed the discrepancy. The inconsistency between nuclear and nuclear may be influenced by the pronunciation of common English language words like ocular, particular, and circular. I believe that under the leadership of Ahmadinejad, nuclear weapons in the hands of his government are extremely dangerous to everyone on this globe. While nuclear is considered incorrect by authorities on the topic, we still hear it coming from the mouths of highly educated sources like scientists and even U.S. presidents. Although, some linguists suggest that men like George W. Bush use the term to appeal to the masses with his folksiness. This one's a case of that pesky metathesis at work once again, causing havoc in the English language. And shame on you, Peter, scaring the kids with your nuclear holocaust nonsense. <laughs> you said nuclear. It's nuclear, dummy. The S is silent. Number five, mauve. Common mispronunciation, mauve. Correct pronunciation, mauve. Team Tracy is now wearing mauve. What? Mauve. What? Just wear the English language uses so many words adapted from different languages, and as a result, parts of a word often get changed in translation or simply mispronounced. This is the case with mauve, as the AU often gets confused with an aw sound. The look that I'm wearing today, it's kind of an evening look with a mauve matte velvet lip. This actually makes logical sense if following the example of words like cause and pause. However, this word is derived from Old French and therefore is pronounced mauve. Un coyote pas comme les autres. Un coyote mauve. It's a light shade of purple, so if you're ever unsure, just say that instead. Mauve. What? Mauve. What? Purple! Number four, ask. Common mispronunciation, ax. Correct pronunciation, ask. I wear uh, a lot of uh, ax body spray. But I live in a black neighborhood and it's called Ask Body Spray. <laughs> and if you don't get that joke, then you're not racist. As soon as you reverse the K and S, many will wrongly peg you as poor or uneducated. However, this variation on the word ask has actually existed for over a thousand years. It's an alternative of the word that was used in one of the first English translations of the Bible and by classic authors like Geoffrey Chaucer. And he says that for years, Acts has been used for a thousand years. He says it's not a new thing, it's not a mistake, it's a regular feature of English. Some linguists suggest that its use today in certain cultures, specifically by African Americans, was adopted as almost an appropriation of language that had been forced on them. So, because you never, you never want to be the whitest sounding black guy in a room. While it is still technically wrong in modern English, it remains a powerful indicator of identity. Got some questions that I got to ask and I hope you can come up with the answers, babe. Number three, supposedly. Common mispronunciation, supposedly. Correct pronunciation, supposedly. Well, what if I never find somebody? Or even worse, what if I already found her, but I dumped her because she pronounces it supposedly? It's not that supposedly is not a word, although it's not. It's that the fake word supposedly has a different meaning than the word people are actually attempting to say. Supposedly. Yeah. Supposedly. 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 <sighs> supposedly pertains to something that is generally believed or accepted as truth, whereas supposedly means something that is possible. Anything is possible. Cause you believe in me. Mm -hmm. The fact that this mispronunciation has gotten so far that the phony word has earned its own meaning is pretty impressive. However, our advice? Just stay away from supposedly completely. It's more trouble than it's worth. Supposedly. <laughs> 
Close them. Did they go to the zoo? Supposedly. <laughs> Number two, espresso. Common mispronunciation, espresso. Correct pronunciation, espresso. When you're thinking about espresso, there's two major ingredients that are going to end up in your cup. It's water and it's coffee. This mispronunciation likely comes from a few sources. One, it's feasible that the French word for espresso, expresso, has bled into the English language. Single espresso uses about seven grams of ground coffee and produces a beverage of about one ounce. It's kind of the basis of measurement of espresso and can be called a single, a single shot, or simply an espresso. Two, espresso may also be drawn from the word express, which means fast and for you only. Both terms that can be applied to the preparation of the beverage. Okay, now here's some notes. Syntax, you're always dangling. No X in espresso. Your participles dangle. It does almost sound a little better with an X. Undoubtedly, you'll be understood whichever way you say it, but this must be the number one pet peeve for baristas around the world. Yeah. I'm sorry. That was a highly recommended... That is considered one of the finest espressos in the Wait, world. Before we mispronounce our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Jewelry. Common mispronunciation? Jewelry. Correct pronunciation? Jewelry. Bought more jewelry, more Louis V. My mama couldn't get through to me. Sword. Common mispronunciation, sword. Correct pronunciation, sword. He faced the galloping hordes. A hundred bad guys with swords. Salmon. Common mispronunciation, salmon. Correct pronunciation, salmon. And when that gets to two thirds of the way up there, it's time to turn the salmon. That's not rocket science, is it? Jalapeno. Common mispronunciation, jalapeno. Correct pronunciation, jalapeno. Jalapeno. That's how you pronounce it. I know how to pronounce it. I order jalapeno. Gnocchi. Common mispronunciation, gnocchi. Correct pronunciation, gnocchi. 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 Number one, quinoa. Common mispronunciation, quinoa. Correct pronunciation, quinoa. But I am here to reassure you that the correct pronunciation is quinoa. Quinoa? Well, that has to be it. How else would you say it? Quino? Wait, what? It's quinoa? Quinoa. Quinoa. For those of you fluent in Quechuan, the native tongue of an indigenous population of South America, the pronunciation will be second nature. But for the rest of us, it's not quite so obvious. Originally cultivated by the people of the Andes Mountains between three and 4,000 years ago, this seed is now touted as a superfood by some. Unfortunately, a large number of those people aren't pronouncing it correctly. Kokokonakwoa. 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 For a mispronounced feast, be sure to order bruschetta with quinoa with an espresso to wash it all down. What the heck is quinoa? Do you agree with our list? We've surely overlooked one tricky word or two. What common mispronunciations would be on your list? For more perfectly narrated top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. So why are these woodlands so attractive to penguins? <laughs> a freshwater stream through the forest makes a handy highway for a parent penguin heading home from a fishing trip. <laughs> <laughs>